Okay, so now that we have laid out the structure of the to do component, what we're going to do is create the form component. So in my components folder, if I create a new folder called form, and again within there, a new file named index.js or FCE, this one will be named form. And we're going to create a corresponding styles.js file as well. Import styles from style components once again. So now we are going to create an a form container. So export const form container, which is equal to styled.form as it is a form. And also within the component, we're going to have an input. So export const input, which is equal to styled dot input. So again, here we are using semantic HTML tags. And the last one, export const button, which is equal to styled dot button, like so. So now we have them set. We're just going to import them into the form file. So import the form container input and the button from same style file, like so. So now in here, the outer container will be the form container. We are also going to render out the input and also render out the button. So button, like so now in the button, it will say add. And now if I save, and what I also need to do is import the form within the to-do component. So I'm going to render out the form component now. And if I control spacebar, I can now input the form from the relevant form folder. So now save. We now have an input and a button on there. So going back into my form index.js, I need a few things from here. So I need a value, which I will set to an empty string for now. We will also need an on change, but I will leave that for now. I'm going to give it a type of text. This is a text input. And just finally, I'm also going to give it a role of input as also. So this will be for when we are getting the input itself and we will add some testing to that with react testing library. So now that I have the values for the input, I also need to give the button a type of submit so that when we click or press enter, then it will submit whatever's in the input field and also an on click event, but we will leave that for now. So what I'm going to do is style the form now. So if I go into the styles and the form, I'm going to give it a display of flex so that it is in a row, which it currently is. We are also going to align items center and also justify content as center. I'm also going to give it a padding of a top and bottom of five pixels and zero pixels for the left and the right. And then for the import, I'm going to give this a background color, which I already have a width of 100%. So take up as much as you can. Adding of eight pixels. It's also going to have a border as well, a border of one PX solid. And then the color will be a light grayish color. And again, to follow the styling of the outer component here, we're going to give it a border radius of eight pixels all around. So now if I save, we should see a change. Yep, so we have. And when I click on there, the border itself changes color. So we want to style that also. So if I go into the focus, which, that, which is what it is, I want to give it the same border but enhance size so to three pixels and we also want to give it an outline of none now if i save and click on there we have the border the same color as what it currently is and then we also get the enhanced focus on there as well so the, from one to three pixels so that we know that we are in the input element so to continue with this styling i'm going to give the background color of the button, the same color as the outline. So if I save, 
it is the same color as the, as the outline this is going to have a border radius of 18 pixels on the button i'm going to copy the same border for the button but it's going to be a two pixel solid button the text inside is going to have a color of white a margin left of 1 em just so that it has a bit of space in between the button and the input container and also a padding of 8 pixels on the top and bottom and then 20 pixels on the left and right it will also have a cursor pointer so that when we hover over it we know that this is a clickable element finally a font size of 0.8 rem and a font weight of 600 so it's slightly bolder if i save so now we have the button that when we hover over it has the cursor and we also have the input element so on smaller screen sizes we just need to style that so that the button drops underneath so if i just copy what i already have which is on the media queries of 420 pixels we want to drop it from a row to a column and then for the button we are going to have a margin top on the button because it will drop underneath to the column a margin left of zero instead of one em and we're going to give it a full width also so if i save all and then if we inspect so as you can see it drops and changes so when we reach the breakpoint of 420 it drops to the column so now that we have the styling done it's time to add the functionality for the inputs so that whatever is in the input field is going to now add to the mongodb database